This is how cold it is outside. Watch all of the heat get sucked right out of the cabin into the freezing, freezing cold. It's freezing and I'm in a cabin in the woods in Northern Canada. I'm getting stuck. I'm smoking drills. He just swam right out for Catching me. fish and my face is frozen. Wolf tracks all around the cabin, going right up onto the deck. I haven't seen any since I've been out here throughout this winter, but for sure, they are nearby. It is dangerously cold out here tonight. I can really feel it. Now the wind chills are gonna be around minus 50. Even just uh, being out for a little bit, I can feel my nose starting to frostbite a bit. So I've got to get moving and get everything into the cabin ASAP and get that fire started right away. Uh, so that way uh, I'm in a much safer position than I am right now in this very severe cold.
Hey, if you guys like this kind of video where it's just a guy, you know, freezing his butt off out in a cabin somewhere in the middle of the Canadian wilderness, I would love for you to subscribe. So many people who watch this channel are not subscribers. I'm really always trying to grow this channel. Um, this this place is a is a dream, right? This this place is a dream, and and I'm I'm doing everything I can to uh, to bring that dream to you guys, uh, you know, the best way I can. So if if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, please subscribe. Um, it would mean a lot. The more subscribers I have, the harder I work. Minus 48 with the wind out there this morning. I mean, it is deadly cold. That's the kind of cold that will kill you pretty quick. So it's very, very, very cold. And it's uh, if you're out there and you're exposed on the ice in this kind of wind, if you're not fully protected, you're getting frostbite all over the place. And, uh, you know, you could die. This will be the coldest start for this snowmobile, for sure. This seat is like a rock. All right. Let's go, baby. See. Okay. I got to plug in the machine. Okay, she's working. Let's see. Yes!
I love these these muffins oatmeal chocolate chip my father just loved these things when I was growing up this specific kind you get that package you put it in there with uh, an egg and a bit of water I'm not too good for these muffins I can tell you that mmm we just got an extreme cold warning. It's only minus 27 now, but it's going to go down to minus 38 without the wind chill. And the wind chill tomorrow morning will be in the minus 50s. I'm in a situation here. I was going to get crystal. The road has drifted over from all of these extreme winds. Now I'm stuck in my truck. Like, I'm really stuck. I've got her in four low at this point. She's just spinning out on me. I came through yesterday and it wasn't so bad. And I thought maybe if I just ran at it again today, I'd get through. But I'm in a situation here. I've got about 200 meters of rock hard drifted snow. And this truck is not made for it. Even if I get out, I'm only gonna move an inch. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be stuck again because the road is in such bad shape. Floor mats can save you. They can really save you. But I gotta get it under. And then I'll get grip on the floor mat. I've done this before, but I'm in a, a trickier situation than most. I gotta get this road plowed. It's the only way. Put out a plow call. See if I can get some help. Definitely need a toque. I just called the plow guy and he can't help. He's too busy. Um, he's working, right? That's the way it goes. And uh, it's not like the plow situation is like a job for him. It's like this, just this thing he does because he wants to be able to get out here. So he just plows the road on his own. And, uh, you know, I, I pay him to plow to my cabin. And I, I asked him if he maybe be able to come back and plow again and help me get out. But he's really busy, so he can't do it. So I'm just going to bring the shovel, start digging. I shoveled out a bit. It's a mess, man. You'd think I'd be able to get out of this. I don't know what's going on. I'm putting the uh, floor mats underneath the other tires to see if I can get grip there. See if that works. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, battery's still going. Let's go, baby. One and two. You can see right here, this is all ice. And my tire is just spinning on ice. Like it can't get any grip. Oh, 
So close! I did it! Oh my gosh! I could not stop! I had to just keep backing out! Alright. That's pretty cool, man. I'm smoking. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it smokes. Wow. Okay, she's smoking again. Look at that. Holy crow. Oh, but it's doing such a good job. It is red hot. Holy smokes. I wonder if I killed it. <laughs> oh man, I wonder if I've killed the drill. Lots of battery power left. Yeah. I can barely touch the, the bottom. It's so deep. That's the thickest ice I've ever seen. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, here we go. Here we go. Here comes the water. But I'm gonna get soaked. Okay, we're going fishing. I need to make sure that little barb. Oh, it's got barbs there too. I got to make sure all those barbs are gone. It's illegal up here to hunt with or to fish with barbs. I don't know if you guys watch alone, but uh, there was this season where. One of the contestants, this young woman, she got a hook stuck in her hand, first day out fishing. And she thought about going for it and trying to survive with the hook in her hand. She was tough, man. She was really, really tough from Alaska. And uh, she ended up having to come out because the hook was right through her hand. But man, that was inspirational because she did not want to give up. And you know, she slept with that hook in her hand overnight. Super tough. I don't know if those barbs, might have played a role in keeping it in, in her hand. There's a gas station here in town that I always go to, Gas Town, and they sell minnows. So I'm hoping this will be a bit more appetizing for the pike. Because I guarantee you it's pike that I'm getting here. Look, those things are frozen solid. There, we got some minnows. I can hear an owl. There's an owl around here somewhere.
Oh my gosh, I got a fish. <laughs> I, I, I went and changed the battery. I got a fish. I changed the battery on the GoPro and I just laid the stick there. And I, look at that. Oh yeah, I got him. Oh, he's, that's a fish. Look at that. Oh, 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 baby, let's go. No, he did not get off. No, he's on, he's on. That is a pike. Oh, he got off. He got a fish, oh, damn baby, he just, he just swam right out for me. <laughs> yes, he just swam right out for me. Have you ever seen that in your life? I've only ever had pike once before, and it was from this lake, and it was unbelievable. Straight out of the cast iron pan. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Pike is delicious. Wow. That is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Mm. When I open the door, all the heat leaves the cabin and it makes this really cool effect. That right there is the plow guy. So his name is Les and he saved the day. And look, look at this man. Just awesome, just awesome. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. I'm out of here tomorrow. Six twenty-five a.m. in the morning. Current temperature outside minus thirty-nine Celsius, which is pretty much minus thirty-nine Fahrenheit. The wind chill is minus 47. Temperature inside the cabin right now is about three degrees Celsius. So that's about 37, 38 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very cold in the cabin, but I have a really warm sleeping bag. The stove is still going 
and I'm just gonna get right back into that sleeping bag and I'm gonna get nice and toasty and warm and hopefully when the sun comes up and shines through those windows it'll actually start to warm up the cabin nice and naturally Not happening. Oh, <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> I guess it does it once, and then it thinks and then it goes for it again. What an incredible trip this has been. Severe cold in the cabin. I've been waiting for this one for such a long time. I really, really, really love it. I love coming out here knowing that the elements that can kill me are just on the other side of the wall and so yeah this was an incredible trip <clears throat> you know i i destroyed a drill i caught a fish um i got stuck and i got unstuck the plow came late last night like it was an awesome adventure and i had delicious food along the way i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i i loved making this video um it was very fulfilling for me and hey look if you want to subscribe it would really mean a lot a lot of people are not subscribed to this channel who watch it regularly and uh you know i just keep churning them out I, I just keep going and going and going and i would love for you guys to be a part of it all so yeah if you want to subscribe that would be great yeah so until the next one thanks so much for watching i'll be back really soon